Hi, welcome to Hims TV. My name is Dylan Yogendra. I'm the managing editor at Hims Amir. Today, I'm delighted to have with me Mr. Thama Shaker, the CEO at Oasis, ahead of the Hims Middle East event. Thama, can you tell us a little bit about your role and Oasis, please? I am the CEO of Oasis, and Oasis is a, a, a well expert company in the in the field uh, for a long time now, more than 25 years in the in the healthcare in the healthcare field. Field. Oasis has a system called Oasis Plus which is a comprehensive and uh, integrated uh, system that cover all the, uh, the requirements needed to, to run a medical entity, starting from the support services, uh, uh, medical modules, uh, ERP and admin, everything related to the, uh, the, the back offices as finance and, uh, and uh, HR as well. So basically, we cover all the requirements needed for, for the system that uh, make the, uh, the, the, the hospital uh, run efficient and uh, effective. And so diving straight into it, Thama, can you tell us a little bit about how you are supporting the sector in using digital technology to prepare for future challenges and potential pandemics, please? We have, uh, we have started uh, in March when, when everything was, you know, uh, in this hassle, like everyone was trying to find out how we can move and everyone was, you know, uh, crazy about the, the direction uh, and it was the big mess over the world. Uh, we, as a uh, well expert uh, company in the field, uh, we decided to, to, to make a little bit shift in our strategy. So we introduced one of our products called Oasis Tele, which is telemedicine, basically, to fit the requirements needed in the market by offering uh, our patients and you know, our, our, our customers the, um, the ability to have the consultation uh, over distance. So basically, they can just talk to the doctor, get the medicine without, you know, threatening themselves by going to the hospital uh, right away or, uh, or directly. So, so what we did by that, by, the, by introducing the system or this feature uh, within our uh, products group or categories of, of products that we have is just to make sure that we are fulfilling the needs um, that um, was, you know, uh, uh, forced by by the changes that we uh, face all. We all face according to the, uh, you know, academic situation. Thank you, Thama. And, and just more broadly speaking, how advanced or mature would you say um, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia is when it comes to digital technology in the healthcare uh, sector? Oh, I we believe that Saudi Arabia today is taking this as a main priority. So if, we, um, if anyone has a chance to go and, and review the, the Vision 2030, you will find that the first priority item uh, will be uh, enhancing the uh, Minister of Health uh, or in, enhancing the health sector overall. So today, it's one of the, of the main priorities for the country uh, to go and be uh, one of the top, uh, you know, uh, in the top list of the, uh, over the world when it comes to health industry. And of course, without saying, this will go hand by hand with the uh, systems that's supposed to be running this, uh, you know, uh, this medical uh, or these medical uh, entities. So the, the government is taking this in consideration as, as top priority, enhancing the policies, enhancing the infrastructure, making sure that the digitalization will be one of the, of the things that should be taking place uh, within the next five years. And then we, I, I believe we started already and the private sector has, you know, a very strong, um, a very strong hand in this. I think that's really encouraging. I think that also corroborates with what we're learning from the kingdom in terms of um, many hospitals now progressing through the digital maturity uh, index, the MRAM levels. Um, so we've just had a, a, an MRAM level six and MRAM level seven um, hospitals uh, validated, which is really encouraging. And I wonder just to dive a little bit deeper into what you were referencing, Thama. Could you tell us a little bit about if you think the health on the health policy side, is that actually aligned with digital health innovation? Or are there barriers on that side that can be overcome? The alignment today would be uh, one of the things that we just talked about in the, in the previous question is how we can make sure that the private sector and the entire, you know, um, uh, different parties, uh, vendors, uh, even the, the operators, uh, have the, 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 the same mindset going hand by hand with the government. Uh, today, uh, we all agree that for us to be able to, uh, to manage all the challenges that we're seeing, not only because of the coronavirus and what happened during the past year or during 2020, but how we can move uh, ahead. For sure, high tech in the healthcare, it's, it has the upper hand in this. 
So by implementing and enhancing the policy and procedures and everything that has to do with the rules and regulation in this sector to match the new mindset and to, 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 uh, to be aligned with, the, with all parties, to be aligned with all parties in order for us to go, to go uh, toward this direction, I believe it is a must now. And uh, I am sure that we, uh, we, we're all aware of this, vendors, uh, operators, uh, the, uh, the, the, the authorities, so we are moving toward this direction. The only thing, the challenging uh, that we are facing all today is the, the current situation. Um, it's slowing us a little bit because, you know, uh, it's not a normal environment to, to operate. But we are going, uh, you know, across this and trying to pass this as much as we can with all the uh, encouragement that we have because we need the reservation that we need to catch. Of course. And I think they're, they're, they're common sort of challenges across the globe, actually. And I think... Um, what's really encouraging is, is that, you, you know, multiple stakeholders seem to be working together over there in the kingdom. Um, and I wonder if there's anything else you can expand on when it comes to the vendor community. Something you just touched on is, is vendors supporting the government. Is there anything more that the vendor community can do to support the government and drive this agenda forward? Absolutely, 100%. Today, you know, the privatization, the private sector has always, you know, uh, the, the big push for anything that happens to be from the government side. So we today in the private sector, we believe that we need to endorse this. We need to follow this. We need to be aligned with them and to, 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 to follow and, and to, to take the initiatives that, that are coming from the, from the government. And we uh, uh, transfer this to actions on the ground through our, uh, through our, um, from our side. So lifting up the standards that we have, understanding the vision that we're moving towards, um, taking in consideration that uh, in this stage, there is no time anymore and um, uh, there is, we cannot afford uh, wasting our time and having obstacles that we, it's not dealt with or we, we don't deal with or just ignore. We have to put all the risk on the table in front of us and deal with it and we have to move. So being giving support for the government today is not, it's not a choice, it's a must. We have to be part of this change in order for us to, uh, to be all safe and to take us to the next level in terms of quality, in terms of, you know, uh, efficiency, we're talking about anything related to, and this is a very critical, uh, you know, critical aspect of our life itself, which is affecting all of us. And we can, we can, we all observe this, you know, what, when we all face the situation of Corona, we were asking what's happening over the world. I'm not talking about in any uh, specific geographical location. I'm talking about the entire world. We're all in the same, you know, spot. We're all facing the same, we're all facing the same challenge. So today, um, vendors, especially in high tech, uh, they must understand that that uh, it, it, they have to be, uh, you know, to ha they have to understand that uplifting their quality, taking in, in, in consideration that uh, the high standard is not choice anymore, and understand the vision that the country is is, is building, uh, and apply this, uh, putting in action, uh, is uh, necessary necessary for all of us to achieve. Absolutely, and I think a lot of that chimes with what we've heard previously in terms of this period being a compression of time. I think. Uh, Professor Shafi Ahmed described it as, and so perhaps the pandemic has, um, has kind of acted as a catalyst for digital transformation. Um, I wonder finally, in the interest of time, uh, Thamer, if you can describe um, what you're doing at your, at your organization in terms of prioritizing the patient, please, and how the patient is at the center of your strategy. 100%, the patient is the, the, the most important part of us. Every time, uh, it's most important, uh, the, the most important part of our system development. And um, as I keep mentioning this, when we develop a product, it takes time to be completed, to, to be mature. Uh, and we always uh, describe this as a baby that's just born and then how, how this baby will grow within time, within a year, within two years. So for us, we keep observing the patient experience, how, we, how, uh, how the friendly part, how, the, the, uh, how it can fit all the different categories of the society. We're not talking about, you know, we have different ages, different categories, different mentalities. So when you, when you come to the software, like, you know, uh, like iOS or Android, whatever iPhone we're using or any phone that we're using today, we succeeded in making every person in different categories with different background, education background, be able to use this, right? right? So this is what they did. They made them, uh, they make everything useful for them. So when it comes to the healthcare systems, uh, especially when we're going through uh, something from uh, like a system that, that's, uh, that's serving B2C, it's not only B2B, so I'm dealing with the patient right away. I need to take into consideration the patient, the patient journey, how it will be easy, uh, how it will be a uh, friendly uh, you know, uh, experience, and in the end of the day, uh, useful. So he will not regret that, he will not, or she will not regret that uh, the download and the software instead of going to the, to the medical entity, clinic or hospital. 
for, of course, the, 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 the patient journey, the patient uh, experience is the mile, is the cornerstone for any development that we have in our, uh, in our table today. Fantastic, and that's so reassuring to hear. Um, in the interest of time, Tamara, unfortunately we've got to call it a day there, but um, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you again for all your time. Uh, we look forward to hearing more from you at the HIMSS Middle East Digital event coming up very soon. So thank you.